Hi everyone, welcome to Arcade Trader Center. My name is Roy. If you're new to the channel, I'm a full-time eBay reseller and also a content creator. I go around to garage sales, estate sales, flea markets, trade shows, just about anywhere I can find items to flip for a profit. And just like today, I'm going to do a what sold video so I can show you the items that I sold, just like here on this paper. I'm going to go around and pull those items, tell you what I paid for them, show you what I sold them for, and maybe it'll give you ideas to go source around so you can go sell on an online platform like eBay. All right, so the first item I sold is back here in the corner. Um, it's this where I keep my dishes and stuff. It's right underneath here, so let me move this out of the way. All right, and let's get this. So this is the first item that sold. It's a J and G Meekin plate from Stratford, England. This is called the English Stratford Sterling Renaissance Edition. Um, it's a real pretty plate. It's got a really nice design. Now, unless you're looking at doing a lot of dishes or glassware and that's the kind of stuff you're into, I wouldn't recommend just picking this kind of stuff up because it'll usually sit for a while. Uh, my eBay store has a whole lot of different items. So I have a variety. I don't have one specific item that I sell. Now, if you're into glassware, plates, dishes, and different things like that, then this may be the kind of thing to pick up. I picked this up at a thrift shop for 50 cents, and it sold for $11.99, and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item I've got going out is down in here, and I don't have much in this bin, so it's going to be real easy to find. And it's in this bag, and I know you can't see what's inside this bag, but this is a baby monitor. Uh, I picked this up at a thrift shop, and, or excuse me, I picked this up at a consignment shop. Uh, I've got $5 into it, paid a little bit high on it for $5 is pretty high, but it sold for $16.99 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is right here in the B2 bin. I let, just listed it just a couple days ago. So I know where it's at, it's right here. This is a 100% cotton 220 thread Teflon stain repellent pillow protector. It's size the standard queen. Um, I thought this was really good. I picked this up at a thrift shop and it was in uh, some markdown areas i paid 50 cents for it and it sold for six dollars and 99 cents and the buyer paid the shipping i'm gonna have to look for this next item it's over here on the j shelf and i'm thinking it's probably in a tub but i'm not uh, yeah it's inside this tub here all right let me move all this stuff out of the way because it's going to be all the way on the bottom i've had it for a little while And it's actually underneath this basket back here. Uh, all right, let me set it down. This is, that's what's sold right there. Okay, so this is a Star Wars Encyclopedia Bible. This is the 1998 version. And it's really neat because it's got all the different characters. It's got, it just basically tells everything about Star Wars. Anything you ever wanted to know about what's in the, the Star Wars movie, the characters, the places, the ships, um, the names, anything that you ever heard, anything you ever heard inside of uh, Star Wars and you want to know about it, it's in there. The original price for this was $49.95 US. So this Star Wars book is used. It's got little just dust cover issues. Mark here on the book, it's got a little mark here that all was listed in the description. You want to make sure you list stuff like that in your description. And it sold for $12.95 and the buyer paid the shipping. I picked this up and paid 50 cents for it in a state sale. All right, the next item I've got going out is over here in the M1 bin. And it's right here. Uh, and of course it's on top, but and it looks convenient, but actually it was on the bottom. I had a question about it from a viewer. So I got, got it out to look at it, stuck it back in there, and then they paid for it about a half day later. What this is is a set of paintbrushes from Martha Stewart's collection. So Martha Stewart's crafts. Let me get it back over here and tell you what all I paid for it, and I'll get a better look at it. Okay. So this is a glass paintbrushes, and it sold for $11.40, and the buyer paid the shipping. All right, so this other item is back here in the dishware, and it's... Uh, right here okay there it is so there you go 
anybody knows what that is, it's the name. This is made by McCoy Pottery Company. This is actually a cobbler's bench or a workbench, and it's a planter. So I picked this up at an estate sale, and this is another one of those items where I wouldn't say that if you don't sell glassware, you don't know much about it, then don't pick it up. This kind of items like this, they don't sell for very high. The, they're pretty common. Not a desirable piece. A lot of people don't want this little cobbler's bench, workbench. Uh, but they will sell if you pick them up at the right price. At the state sale, I picked up a whole bunch of items. So in this one, I probably don't have 25, 50 cents in them because I picked up a whole lot at one time. And this sold for $9.59 and the buyer paid the shipping. So I sold one item today I was really happy about. Not so much that the item sold and the price that I got for it. It's right here in the N1. But uh, let me pull it out and I'll tell you about it. All right, so this is the item that sold. It looks like a bullet, but actually it's a thermos and it's got the space shuttle on the front. And if you t unscrew the top, it's actually a thermos. So this was a really, really, really neat find that I found. But what's so special about this is this sold to another content creator named Colton. Colton and his wife, Courtney, have a channel called The Redneck Resale. And I've talked about his channel before. And Colton bought this. So thank you, Colton. I really appreciate the sale. And thank you for the business. And if y'all haven't checked out Colton over at Redneck Resale, go check him out. I'll put a little, little description right here. And I'll also put a link down below. So make sure you go check out Colton at Redneck Resale. He does a really, really good job. He's a lot of fun to watch. Uh, he's got a lot of great knowledge. Him and his wife, Courtney, do a great job together. So go check out Redneck Resale. And thank you, Colton. Thank you for the purchase. I'll get this in the mail right out to you. Hey, everyone. This is the time in the video that I say if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing and hit that little subscribe button. So if you uh, like these kind of videos and you like things and you haven't hit that little notification bell, it's really important. Go over and click that notification bell where it says all. Hit all. That way, anytime we put out a premiere or a live show or even another video, You'll get that notification right away so if you think you got it checked go over and double check and make sure that you've got it set to all that way like i said when we start doing these premieres and live shows you'll be able to get all the videos all right next item's in the m1 bin and it's something that i sold it sold this sold for nine dollars and 99 cents and what this is a pair of medical scissors and it came with a little clip-on holster Although you would think that would be a lot worth a lot more. Not very popular when it doesn't come from a medical supply store. And I'm not a medical supply store. So this sold for $9.99. Next item that I sold is over here in B1. And it's going to be over here on its side. There you go. I got it wrapped up with cardboard. And this is a dovetail saw the cardboard is on there to protect the tooth so i don't mark anything up that's inside the bin plus i can use it when i ship it out and it sold for 12 dollars plus shipping over here in the end bin got these right here this is a set of mounts for drywall it's called the tornado easy anchors sold this for eleven dollars and 99 cents free shipping this was an actual throwaway find i found at a garage sale but they were just going to toss all right so in here is the next item and i know it's right here in front because i just listed it and it sold right after listing this is a retired thermos from starbucks and it's hard to tell but there's a little bit of writing on the bottom and it says starbucks but right down here at the bottom and you may not be able to see it it says liberty fabric swell but swell is spelled s apostrophe w e l l and liberty fabrics designed can't got with starbucks and this is what they came out with this is a retired model as i said and it sold for 24 four dollars and 99 cents and the buyer paid the shipping sold this item over here in the m5 and actually forgot to list it for a couple days so just got it listed this is the vix baby thermometer it sold for 18 dollars 99 cents it sold within a couple hours of listing and it's going out free shipping i'll right, we'll come around here to the m5 bin 
and there's not much in here it's just got some bigger items but down here and i can already see it is this old pair of garden shears they're vintage they've been around for a long time and they sold for 18 dollars, and the buyer paid the shipping and one thing about this and i don't know if you can see it but it, right there if you can see that name it's a vintage pair of corona shears just let you know that that's the name of them not part of what's going on in the world might cut it out though while i'm over here i need to pull one of these out uh, if you watched a couple of videos ago i talked about a cookie press from the pampered chef i talked about and i said that the best thing to sell was that ring that's on the end of it which is actually true but i'm not going to get rid of all the other parts i'm still going to sell and list the other parts and I got this, and this is the sleeve part of the cookie press. And this one just sold. Check it out. I got some shrink wrap and uh, put it in some shrink wrap. I don't know. I just thought that was pretty cool. And this sold for $11.99, and the buyer paid the shipping. All right. The next down my soles back here in K2, and it's probably in the back because I've had it listed for a while. Oh, there it is. All right. So this is a tub of Airsoft pellets if you sell anything like this you can't sell it overseas there's an ebay restriction that says you can't sell any kind of airsoft items overseas so these are some things i picked up at a garage sale i actually picked them up months ago they've been listed for quite a while they weren't selling so i dropped the price down they sold for 12 dollars, and the buyer paid the shipping i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you saw some items that if you're out sourcing maybe at garage sales thrift shops estate sales or wherever you go sourcing that you saw some items that you might have walked past, but now you realize the value of them and you might pick them up and sell them. So to all the resellers out there, find it, sell it, profit. To everyone watching, be safe, take care, and be kind of one another. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching RK Treasure Center. If you do like videos like this and you haven't yet subscribed, then go over here and click that little subscribe button so you'll always have access to our videos. Also, click that notification bell so you'll know when we put other videos out. And if you want to, go ahead and sit back and relax and watch a video like that.